protection today because it truly can save lives. Our next guest, Stormy, wants to take full advantage of early detection because she is afraid that she might be a ticking time bomb. I do have shortness of breath on certain days and I don't know why. I do consider that I could be at risk for stroke just because of my mother's history. My mother had a heart attack at the age of 59. She had congested heart failure and obesity. This is a picture of my mom and myself. It was the last picture that she placed in the photo album before she passed away. It is sad that she's no longer here and you just move on in life. I do have concerns about my own health with my mom passing away from a heart attack in addition to obesity running in our family. Stormy is here. We're going to give her a high-tech test to see if she may be at risk for a stroke. And we'll tell you the signs to look out for to see if this test may be right for you. There are ways to stop a medical catastrophe before it ever happens. We're going to tell you all about it after the break. Coming up. We have a technique now uh, with ultrasound to look at the arteries and look very precisely at the artery and see whether there's a buildup of plaque. We can look at her today and to a certain degree predict whether or not she'll have serious plaque in her artery. I do have concerns about my own health with my mom passing away from a heart attack in addition to obesity running in our family. Like many of you watching right now, Stormy's afraid that her life could suddenly be cut short. She fears she's at risk for a stroke. But a high-tech ultrasound can give her a sneak peek into her medical future, checking her arteries for early warning signs. We're here with Dr. Peter Lawrence. He's the chief of vascular surgery at UCLA Medical Center. So thank you, Dr. Lawrence. Thank you, Stormy, for being here. You know, a lot of people don't realize that a stroke is essentially a heart attack of the brain. So the key, much like a heart attack, is to stop it from happening in the first place, right? That's correct. And, and this is a tool where we can say, okay, you're at high risk or maybe you're at lower risk before it happens. Well, many of the strokes, even though they occur in the brain, actually originate in the neck. And as you can see, we have a technique now uh, with ultrasound to look at the arteries and look very precisely at the artery and see whether there's a buildup of plaque. So it's a very inexpensive, minimally invasive technique of looking at the artery and determining whether or not the artery has a buildup of plaque. Who at home should consider getting this test done? Well, people who are at high risk, I think, are the best. Stormy has a family history, but uh, we always teach our medical students that the first three risks are smoking, smoking, smoking. And then after that, we move on to other things, and that might be high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, uh, the general risk factors for blood vessel problems almost any place else. So, Stormy, we've got your images up here. You're probably pretty anxious to find out how it looks. So, Dr. Lawrence, can you walk us through what we're seeing up on the screen behind you? Sure. What, what we see here and on the screen uh, is the artery, and it can be looked at either with color or without color. If it's looked at with color, you can see flow. And the analogy we use for our patients is it's like a river. And when a river gets narrow, you get rapids, and the rapids, the flow goes very fast and turbulent. So a normal artery will look like a normal slow-flowing river, whereas an abnormal artery with buildup of plaque, you'll not only see the plaque, which we can see in the wall, but you'll also actually see an area of, of very high velocity. And so you're I looking think at, at the red, which would represent blood artery, in an artery. And then here is the vein, which is right next to it, which is not a problem. And as she moves up here at this bifurcation where it branches, that's where we would anticipate seeing a problem. And in her, uh, in addition to that, we look at the thickness of the wall to determine whether or not she's building up plaque over a long period of time. So that we can look at her today and to a certain degree predict whether years from now, whether or not she'll have serious plaque in her artery. How does uh, she look? Stormy, I'm happy to tell you that your artery looks like it has a normal thickness to the wall and you don't have any evidence of plaque right now. And theoretically, if you do this study on someone and they have an enormous amount of buildup, there are procedures that you can perform to remove some of that plaque, in addition, obviously, to the lifestyle changes you recommend. So there's, there is an absolute reason to do this test. That's right. And even though uh, younger women don't have as high a risk, 
All young women have parents, mothers, fathers, like she have, brothers and sisters. So there are always people in the family who would benefit from this. As we get older, the risk is greater. So at her age, it's just a great motivator for whether she's doing the right things in her lifestyle. And as she gets older, it actually can be used to diagnose patients who have a very high risk of plaque and stroke. And we actually have an example. Yeah, I want you to I show what here. it would look like if she were to have plaque. Yeah, this, is, this would be an abnormal artery. And you can see the normal flow of the river and this is the rapids that you get with a very high velocity. And it's because the artery is narrowed in that area and the same amount of blood flow has to go through a narrower space. So it has to go much more rapidly. And we pick that up with the velocity and actually can very precisely determine the degree of narrowing and almost make a decision about treatment based solely on an ultrasound. Thank you so much, Dr. Lawrence. Stormy, congratulations. Thank you. Strokes can happen very quickly. There's another breakthrough I want to show everyone. We're here with Dr. Riza Jahan. He's also from UCLA Medical Center. And so we just talked about prevention, but if someone is suffering from a stroke, particularly if you have weakness or numbness on one side of the body, someone suddenly has difficulty speaking, if someone is having trouble with their vision suddenly, these are possible symptoms of a stroke. You have to go to the hospital because we have treatments. That's true, Travis. We do have a treatment available now for patients who are experiencing stroke. And as was already explained, uh, stroke is caused by a blood clot that blocks the blood vessel in the brain. And once you cut off the blood flow to the brain, that's like cutting off the fuel to the engine. Engine dies. You block off the blood flow, the brain's going to die. And it is imperative to unclog that artery to get the fuel going again so it's spared the brain from dying. We have clot-busting drugs where if someone gets to the ER within three hours, sometimes those are effective. But in other scenarios, you actually will snake a catheter up into the artery in the brain, grab that clot, and remove it. And that's, we have a fancy setup here to show us how this works. That's right. Uh, this is a, um, the device that uh, in question, the Mercy device, which is a corkscrew device that we thread into the clot. It grabs the clot and pulls it out very much like a wine bottle opener. It grabs a cork and pulls it out of a wine bottle. And to get to the clot, first thing we have to do is get to the uh, blood vessel in the brain in question. And for that, we use a catheter, which is a plastic tube that we thread up the arteries uh, in the neck into the brain. And we actually and pass so this the starts, clot. It literally starts, it starts in the groin. It starts goes in the groin the and goes artery. all the way up into the brain. And here we have a plastic model of the blood vessels in the brain to demonstrate that. And the green piece of plastic there is a representation of a blood clot that is clogging one of the blood vessels in the brain. And as you can see, this catheter has already been threaded up past the blood clot into the brain artery. And now we're going to deploy this device, that corkscrew device that I showed you, into the blood vessel. And you'll see that come out of the device. There is the device coming out of the catheter. And once it's completely deployed, in the blood vessel, we pull back on the whole setup. We pull it back to engage the clot. There it is. It's going to grab the clot. And very slow, slowly, we pull to remove the blood clot, restoring blood flow in the brain. And what stroke patients are considered for this type of treatment? These are patients who have blood vessel blockages in their brain, like this model demonstrates, that are experiencing severe stroke symptoms. The bottom line is get yourself to the hospital as soon as possible. Time is of the essence. The more time goes by, the more brain dies, and there's less to salvage. You have to get to the hospital right away to get this treatment. Thank you so much for showing this Thank to you. us. For a list of stroke warning signs and symptoms, go to our website, thedoctorstv.com. Next, what the smell of your breath tells you about your health.